Five crosses, back, 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 back. Happy, happy, happy. <laughs> Welcome back. Susie, what episode are we on? We are season three, episode 49. Oh, we're going to do two, two hands for 49. Yeah. Wow. Hey, <laughs> baby. Here you are. Here right. you are. Well, uh, let's introduce ourselves. Noel, would you like to go first? NPT. Tell me Noah. <laughs> All right. Okay. And, uh, and your co-host, Jeff, is on assignment this week. So, uh, Susie, would you like to introduce yourself? Of course. I'm Susie Courier, and I'm producer of, of Inner Producer. That's right. And uh, how about our sound and video engineer? I am Ryan, the sound and video engineer. Awesome. Uh, Wit. Hi, Wit. I'm back. All right, back from assignment. Um, All right. Simon. And Alex. Hi, I'm Alex. <laughs> and I'm Pete. And uh, let's let's get this show on the road. What do you guys like to talk yeah, about yeah. today? Uh, oh, yeah. Keeping keeping you awake, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> today we are talking about the five K race. That's right. Yeah. And what else are we going to do on this exciting episode? We have our fun facts with John. That's right. John Keeley is going to stop by and give us some fun facts about Tokyo. Yep. Coming right up. <laughs> magic of... What are Susie's Hi. cues about today? Well, oh, girl, look at my thing in that. Milk snakes. Milk snakes. Milk snakes. Milk snakes. <laughs> True or false. Ooh. All right. That's coming up, coming up ahead too. And then of course we'll have an exciting uh round of Noel Tree, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I guess no ask Jeff today. No, nope. the questions will have to pile up. <laughs> oh, oh Susie. Oh, oh ask Peter. Uh oh. <laughs> well, maybe we'll see what happens in that segment. So. What but ask Susie if oh. No, Jeff, so I can take over his job. Okay. You've already got a segment. Yeah, I know that. I meant. Oh, we can just wait until he comes back. We'll see how we're doing on time. Okay. I think the people want to ask Jeff, though, when they have uh, emailed right. us. So maybe we just have to wait for that. Jeff to come back so we can get the answer from him. Maybe we'll do a fun question during that time sure. slot. So. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. All right. Then do you think we should get started? Yeah. But. All right. It's almost um, like we can't take a break today without Jeff, but I think Susie's going to take us a break, right? Of course. Go. We'll be right back. We're back. And instead of a guest today, we thought we would just have a little chat as a podcast family, um, minus Jeff, of course, who's on assignment. Um, and we're going to talk about our upcoming 5K run, walk, and typically block party. And uh, I think we have some news to break here um, on the, the show. So our Strivecast listeners are hearing it first. Um, Whit, do you want to share the news? Sure. Breaking news. Just this morning, we have decided to change our event to a fully virtual race. So that means you could run or walk anywhere that is convenient to you, whether it's in your neighborhood or on the beach or on a treadmill, any way that you would like to do the 5k, you are welcome to do it, but it will be on your own time the weekend of September 17th. So Friday the 17th, Saturday the 18th, or Sunday the 19th. So we just wanted to let everybody know that we will not have the race here at Strive on Foden Road. It will be fully virtual just to keep everybody as possible. Right, guys? That's right, girl. Yeah, and we know that everybody's a little bit bummed about that. We certainly are. Um, something that we look forward to every, every year. Um, but just with the rise in the Delta variant and, you know, who we serve and what we do, 
Um, we really need to just err on the side of safety and caution. And so that's why, um, you know, in cons consultation with the Foden Road Networking Group that um, helps us to put on the race every year, we um, have decided to flip it virtually. So if you've already registered for the race, you'll be getting, a, getting an email from us with all the the details. If you haven't, it's not too late. We have great shirts. Um, maybe we could even show one in a minute. Oh, yes. Um, and I could show our medals. Thank yeah. You. And yes. you can only see this if you're watching on our social media channels. Um, yeah. We'll describe them for our listeners, but it's uh, pretty exciting. Um, and so now people can do it from all over the country. We had a really great response last year, and we hope that people will again um, this year. It's a really uh, sweet looking medal and shirt that can be yours when you register. Um, and here's Whitney is showing um, the shirt. We'll give you a little um, spotlight. There's the, the shirt. Ooh. All right. <laughs> All of our great race oh, sponsors awesome. and Code Road folks in the back. All right. And then uh, can we see a medal too? Look at this. You get the complete set. Ooh. Boom. It's actually our 10th annual race too. So it's, a little, it's too bad that it can't be in person, but that's a sweet looking race medal especially if you collect those so we not too late to get that and we should share that since this is virtual that means you don't need to live in maine or the portland area to participate if you want to participate anywhere in the country or world um we would <laughs> ship your t-shirt and medal that's right and then for the people who are local, we're going to be doing a packet pickup, at least one, potentially two next week. And we're just trying to work out the details of those. Um, so a little inside secret, if you're interested in the shirt and the metal, if you pay for it, we're not even going to come and check if you run it. We're going to do this on our honor system. So uh, we hope you will. Um, it's our goal, obviously, as part of this, to get everybody out and active. But um, if you're just a shirt and metal collector. There's a way to do that, too. Noel, it's your show. You don't have to raise your hand, brother. Is that the same thing for the, uh, I know that's in October, but the auction, do we, are going to be like the same thing? The auction is going to be virtual as well. Yeah. This I was just make... because people are outside. So this was a little bit, we're, that's why one of the reasons why we we're hoping to do this is because people would be outside and would be able to be social distanced a little bit, but I would wow. just make a show about that, Peter. Yeah, our auction is going to be fully virtual, too. That's going to be kicking off um, October 27th, I believe, um, for mm -hmm. a week. So oh, much more to come on, on that. But um, right now, we're all in on the 5K. It's going to be virtual this year again, unfortunately. But we hope we can be back and better than ever in 2022 on the ground with our full you know, 5K run walk, our big block party that we always do, and then a kid's fun run that we just didn't feel comfortable doing this year. Um, since the kids aren't even old enough to be vaccinated. So. Yeah. Questions, comments, anybody want to add anything? No. Anybody, Alex? Anybody? When does the baby bunch get back together? <laughs> I do huh? not know the answer to that. That sounds like a good theme for an old tree. Poem. That was like random. Yep. Hello, mom. <laughs> So maybe we share our website again so you can register and find out all of our updated race information at pslstrive.org slash strive for five, F-I-V-E. And it's, and it's definitely not too late to register. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll share on that site as well as through our social media much more about this, including packet pick updates as it gets closer. Um, if you were with us last year, we did a couple of drive-through pickups, and that'll be the pretty much the same um, for this year as well, um, yeah. an evening next week. So. Okay. They're on the screen, not in person. Yeah, and la last year, one of the things, and obviously this is a developing story because it just happened um, this morning, but last year we also did some great prizes for people who had, you know, the best pictures. We had best scenery and best costume and best team and things along those lines. So more to come on that as well. All right. Mm -hmm. Anything else, guys? No. Okay. Then, uh, Susie, why don't you take us to break? We'll be right back.
All right, well, we're back and we have a special guest today, John Keeley. Fun facts with John Keeley. Yay. Hey, everyone. Yay. That's so been I the first John, podcast of the month. Yeah, I think John is telling us all about Tokyo today. Yeah. Tokyo. I'll be talking to you about one of the biggest cities in the world, Tokyo. Wow. Let's get started. Let's get started. Tokyo has been the Japanese capital since 1868. It used to be a small fishing village called Edo. Edo then became the imperial capital of Japan and subsequently changed its name to Tokyo. Tokyo means Eastern capital. English is not widely spoken. If you go to other large Asian cities, you'll often find that if you speak English, life can be pretty straightforward for you. If you are visiting Singapore or Hong Kong, you will find that English is actually, is actually one of the official languages. Most people speak English at, in Singapore than any other language. In Hong Kong, it is spoken by over half the population. If you want to get by in Tokyo, you're going to need to learn a little more. You're going to need a, to learn a little Japanese. Otherwise, you may struggle with the most mundane of tasks. You are more likely to miss Mount Fuji. Some of the most idyllic shots of Tokyo have the famous Mount Fuji in the distance, looking down over the great city. How, however, although Mount Fuji is well within Please distance of the naked eye, smog and weather conditions mean it is visible less than 80 days a year. There are more neon signs in Tokyo than anywhere else in the world. <laughs> you may accept that Times Square is lit up more than, say, Piccadilly Circus or Times Square, for example, but even more so than Las Vegas. It is, it has far more streets than Las Vegas. And more often than not, the entire street is ablaze with, with neon lights. There is no safer city in the world. Tokyo is huge, it's busy, and it's loud, but it is also incredibly safe for travelers of any kind, of any kind. Crimes are a rarity there, and cr crimes against tourists are almost unheard of. This is not just an opinion. Tokyo regularly features at the top of lists discussing safety on or low crime rates. Living in a box, Tokyo, the space is at a premium in any city, but in Tokyo, it, in, it is an absolute rarity. This has led to the development of capsule hotels. These are micro hotel rooms where guests squeeze into a capsule not much bigger than their body for a cheap overnight stay. Tokyo has the busiest pedestrian crossing in the world. Shibuya Crossing regularly sees up to 2,500 people crossing it at exactly the same time. Now that's busy. <laughs> and it's no wonder Tokyo has a population of 38 million people. Tourists pay no tax on shopping. It's true. Tokyo may have a reputation of being one of the most expensive cities in the world, but not many people know that as a foreign tourist, they can shop tax-free at licensed stores. You just need to, to ensure you spend over 5,000 yen and that you take your passport with you. Get this. People are employed to push you into busy trains. Hmm. This is Good. not a myth. This is absolutely true. They are known as Oshai, which loosely translates as pushers. 
Believe it or not, their official name is actually Passenger Arrangement Staff. Their job is exactly as it sounds. During busy periods, station staff will literally push people onto crowded trains in order to get as many people on as possible. Tokyo has best restaurants in the world. People often complain that the Michelinian star rating system is unfairly biased towards Paris. However, most people don't realize that the city with the most three-star Michelinian restaurants is in fact Tokyo. Tokyo is home to some of the most famous highly rated, highly rated experimental and exclusive eateries to be found anywhere in the world. Uh, here's a picture of Mount Fuji. Ooh. Nice. Nice. You know, does anybody yeah. have any questions? I think so. Those were some great facts. Mm -hmm. I think Noel has your first question. Mm -hmm. who, who was the uh, Japanese, is it Shin Guns? Shoguns. 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 Oh. Shoguns were hered hereditary military leaders who were technically appointed by the emperor from the 800s to the 1600s. However, real power rested with the shoguns themselves who worked with other classes in Japanese society. Well, mm -hmm. And do you have the next question for John? Uh, how many times has Tokyo hosted the Olympics? Tokyo first first hosted the Summer Olympics in 1964. Hmm. Tokyo recently hosted the Summer Olympics this year. It was supposed to be last year, but were postponed due to COVID. That's cool. Mm hmm Why? Is it easy? What? Is the weather like in Tokyo? Tokyo has four seasons. Winters are dry and cold and cool. Spring is lovely. Summer is wet, followed by hot and humid. Autumn starts out wet and finishes with some of the year's best weather. <laughs> I love that. Wow. <laughs> cool. Really Thanks, cool. John. We learned so much about mm -hmm. Tokyo. You're welcome. That was pretty cool, right, guys? Yeah. Very, Very cool. cool. All right, John. Well, thanks for joining us. And we can't nice. wait to hear what you have to tell us next month. Yep. All right. Well, thanks. Goodbye. We're going to have Jeff. So, uh, Bye, Susie, you want to take us Bye. to break? What? Of course. Okay, go for it. Susie's going to take us to break. All right. Bye. <laughs> To our cast, we'll be back. Live cast is brought to you by. Yeah. <laughs> How about your ad? Right here. Your ad right here. And what are we doing? Our, our summer special is sadly over now that we're on the other side of Labor Day. But what do we have instead? Fall season. Right, a September yeah. special. Yeah. September. Well, Noel, how much should we charge for three episodes? 30 bucks. 30 bucks it is 30 then. Bucks. Three 31. For 30. Mm, probably. Three for 30, I think, is what Mr. Thompson three for just 30. said. So yeah. That sounds good to me. Yeah. yeah. Me too. And what should they do if they want to advertise with us? Call. That's right. Give us a call, 207-774-6278, or yeah. send us an email at strivecast at pslstrive.org. Email, yeah. Okay. Put September I special in the that. project. Okay. All right. Then that sounds like a deal. Yeah, Noel, yeah. Noel was just saying he's excited to see the money roll in. So hope you'll consider sponsoring uh, the show. We'll get your, your brand in there several times. Benefit your brand and benefit us. A win -win for everyone. All right. Then, Susie, why don't you take us a break? We'll be right back. Susie Q. Susie Q. I really like Susie Q. And I got 
My finger nose painted. <laughs> hey, what? Oh, yeah. Hope you're watching on the audio, the uh, visual <laughs> version on one of our uh, social media platforms so you can see the full effect of the fingernails painted. If you're listening on audio, you'll just have to take our word for it. But Susie's nails All look great today. Of the girls that I see on here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Susie, we can give the scores for you. Please do. Okay. I think you'd like the scores because you're in first place. So uh, tied Sweet. for first, we have Susie and Jeff with 98. Close behind Whoa. in second, Ryan with 97. Then Wit 95.5. Then Noel, 95. And then Alex, who's catching up quickly with 87. <laughs> Oh. You're Here going we go. there, girl. <laughs> I'm picking to her. Okay, let's do it. Yes. Bam, what? Bam, what? Bam, what? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Milk. Today's all about milk snakes. Let's do it. Milk snakes have a tail. They can shake just like a rattlesnake. Is that true or false? Okay. Is it true or false that milk snakes have a tail they can shake just like a rattlesnake? True or false? And as always, we start with the ladies. Uh, Susie, it's your game. What do you say? I think it's true. Susie goes true. All right. Whitney. Well, I don't know anything about milk snakes, so I'm just going to guess. And I'll go to Susie and say true. Okay. Alex? Three. I think true. Okay. The ladies are all in a true. Noel, what do you say? Me too. True. Also a true. All right. And Ryan? True. True. Everyone's in a true. Great job. Great start. That's a point for everyone right off the bat. It is true. They are often mistaken for rattlesnakes, but are not venomous. Good. Points around the horn. The oh. horn? <laughs> Pete! Okay. I'll get you. I'll get you from that, Pete. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to question two. Milk snakes have very moons. Fangs. Fangs to bite. From one would be quite painful. Is okay. that true or false? <laughs> Is it true or false that milk snakes have fangs? So a bite from one would be quite painful. Let's start with the guys this time. Susie, those are some impressive fangs you had there. Um, Noel, you. would you like to go first? I think I go with true. Noel goes true. Ryan? Uh, true. Okay, two trues from the guy's side. Alex. False. Okay, Alex is going false. Susie. False. False and Whitney. I'm going to say true. Okay. Point for Alex and Susie because that one is false. <laughs> uh, milk snakes do not have fangs and their teeth are extremely small. A bite from one would just be a little, oh, yeah. little scratch. So... There we go. All right, so that's a point for Alex and a point for Susie. Question three. Milk snakes cry. All right, is that true or false that milk snakes cry? And it's back to the ladies. How do um, they? Whitney, your turn to go first on this one. Um, I'll say <laughs> I'm going to go with I've got to go with true. Whitney's going with true about crying milk snakes. <laughs> All right. Susie in the middle. I say false. Okay. You sure about that? <laughs> are, you, are you locked in? Jeff isn't here to say final answer locked in. Locked in. False? False. All right. Susie and Whitney head to head. All right. And Alex? I think true. Okay. No. So I thought. Okay, false. So Noel and Susie are at false. Alex, I can't remember. You just said it. Are you true? true? Okay, so Whitney and Alex are at true. 
Susie and Nola are false, Ryan? True. All right. Let's see what the answers say. That one is false. Mm. Even though reptiles have tears, the tears drain into their mouths so they cannot cry. Mm. Who knew that? <laughs> Apparently, Nolan. I mean, <laughs> okay. Number four. Okay, here we go. Milk snakes are known by their bright orange, red, white, and black stripes. Okay. Is that true or false? Oh. Milk snakes are recognized by their bright orange or red, white, and black stripes. So it's back to the guys. Ryan, you want to go first on this one? Uh, that will be uh, true. Okay. Ryan's in it true. Me too. Both the guys are in it true. Susie? I think it's true. Ooh, okay. All right. Alex? True. Okay. And Whitney? I'll stick with the crew and say true. Clean sweep for true. And hey, for once it's right, true. Their <laughs> bands may be white, red, yellow, or orange. The darker bands are outlined in black. They're often confused with copperheads, coral snakes, and timber rattlesnakes because they all have bright, blotchy coloration. This helps scare away the predators. So, boom. Point for everybody. Boom. Give me five, girls. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> point out that Susie is a perfect four for four today on the... Uh, Milk snakes. I we did not one... do well on <laughs> We got one question left. You can redeem yourself. <laughs> Number five. And there's a fifth one today. There is. Here we go. <clears throat> you listen, this is not true or false, so listen closely. Thank you, BB. You're welcome, You're welcome SC. Can you guess which two states have no milk snakes or actually any snakes at all. Okay. So this one is, can you guess which two states have no milk snakes or actually have no snakes at all? So we're looking for the names of two different states that have no snakes. And how about, let's for this one, we'll give our customary five points if you get them both. And we'll, let's do three points if you get one. How's that? Boom. Do, okay. you have, do you have to answer two states or what? You have to answer two states. And if you get them both right, you get five points. You get one right, you get three points. How's that? Or two okay. and a half points to round up Whitney, maybe. <laughs> Stuck at 95.5. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. So who wants to go first? I think we're back to the ladies. Yep. Oh, okay. Hey. All right, Susie, how about, can you give us two states? Two states. Mom? Can't phone a friend. <laughs> um, two states. Canada and... No, two United States, like Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, et cetera. Maine, one of them. Okay. And where's the other one? Um, Gonna need an answer. Even though this is your game. <laughs> Maine in Delaware. Maine in Delaware. Okay, there we go. Uh, Whitney. I'm just going to go with New Hampshire and Vermont. <laughs> okay. All right, Alex. I'm going to go with Alaska and Hawaii. Okay. All right, Noel. New York City in California. New York in California. All right. And Ryan. I'm going to go with uh, Maine and New York. 
Maine, New York. Okay. Uh, Maine, I know, has no poisonous snakes, but I think it might have milk snakes because it's not one of the states listed. So I will say that one of you has gotten it exactly right. Name both states correctly. Mm -hmm. I wonder who that could be. <laughs> it's Alex. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Congratulations. It's Alaska and Hawaii no, for sure. different reasons. Alaska was because it's too cold and Hawaii because it's so isolated. So there you go. Boom. Alex is right back in the thick of this with eight points today. Wow. So, <laughs> <laughs> if you want to sing an outro, um, I'll do the scorekeeping. Okay. Well, I'm on it right now, baby. Love it. Cute. 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 I mean, like, cheesy cues. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this reminds <laughs> me of you. Okay. Why? All right. <laughs> Here we go. We've got, in sixth place, but closing quickly, Alex, who's up to 95. Wow. <laughs> Um, then we go to Whitney at 97.5, followed by Noel with actually Noel and Jeff tied at 98. Then Ryan in second place with 99 and our first contestant over 100 points this Ooh. season with 102. Susie skews herself. Susie. <laughs> oh, we'll name in season Three episode fifty two. We will name our champion. Okay. All right. So, Susie, you want to take us to break? Yes, we'll be right back. We're back. It's time for no much three for Nori. No more No more like to do an intro today, Noel. No a tree, no a tree, have fun at no a tree. Okay, take it away whenever you're ready, sir. Okay, once upon a time, there was a beach boy named Mike Love, and his brothers became with him, and other group came to the show. Baywatch, and sang a hit song, Summer Last Lawn, and they appearance with Mitch when he was little a long time ago. He was singing with them back in the day. So when the fun last lawn, and he got to sing with them, bless the whole Surfing USA, let the blonde hair go down. No, bushy tail, blonde, yeah. And have fun, 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 fun. Mama got the TV away. <laughs> the yeah. Okay, wow, lots going on there today. Um, <laughs> is that like the plot from a Baywatch episode? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. With a with a null unique null twist, with a yeah. little bit of like I don't know, some Beach Boys in there I think, and yeah, all your favorite things. What what does all that mean? Yeah, uh, I'm always doing the that um, is how you make your summer. Last was healthy, happy, healthy, and strong. Hmm. Keep nice it up. Around yeah. the corner in the fall. Nice to be thinking about that. In the fall. God bless the fall. Yeah. God bless the fall. Okay. Wow. Anybody else have any questions for Noel here? No. Okay. Wow. Well, then I guess that's another Noel tree. Yeah. And, uh, Somebody take us a break. We'll be right back. All 
All right, we're back. And usually it's time for Ask Jeff, but our uh, question answerer himself is on uh, assignment this week. So in his place, we have a question that we've just picked up, um, not from a listener this week, so we're going to save those for Ask Jeff when he returns next week. But just a question for our gang to have a little bit of fun with. It is, uh, what's one piece of advice that you would give to your younger self? I think there's actually a meme floating around right now that says if you had to give yourself some advice using just three words to your past self, what three words would you use? If you'd like, you can do that. Or um, any advice that you'd like to give to yourself that takes more than three words. How about, Noel, how about you? You're our advice guy. What would you? uh, I have a lot of stuff from my past self. What would you, what would you tell 18 year old Noel right now? Oh, 18, I thought before 18. Okay, fine. Before you're 18. How about 12 year old Noel? Um, Or you tell me what age Noel you're going to tell yourself. Okay. What Um, age are you going to be? What what age are you going to tell your former self? I I will say um, to my old self back when I lived at Stribium. Oh, okay. So like 22-year-old Noel. Yeah. Give or take. Many, many things. Okay. How about a couple? What I'm not doing now, but what I used to do. Uh, uh, um, not teaching, being, not going to Strive Night, and not um, just get invited to a birthday party and not go to a strike. Oh. So don't. Oh, you would or wouldn't do that? <laughs> yeah, don't skip out on family things. Yeah. Okay. But that was actually a, a strive you okay. thing. Oh, okay. Remember, you call me a sheep something? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. How about and, don't um, be cheap on a date? I have I also have a laundry one. Okay. Never leave your wet clothes in the washing machine if you're going on a big trip. Good one. That's a, that's good advice for anyone. <laughs> Especially when you have multiple people that share the washing machine. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. All right. Susie, you got anything? What oh, would you boy. tell teenage Susie? Well... One thing, I'm my teenage self. Oh, once when I was 12 years old, I, not 12, I meant 10, yeah. Close enough, we're good. Close enough, when I was 10, my sister and I would go outside, play shepherd the flag, and I was sitting on the chair. My sister did this to oh. me and looked <laughs> at the flowers. <laughs> so uh, not to fight with your sisters, sister? Yep. Okay. Wow. My right. was two. And I was fifteen. When sixteen, I meant. Oh wow. And then, you were always nice to her, right? Wait. That way. Are, <laughs> <laughs> are you the older sister, Susie? Yes, I am. Oh, okay. That that makes sense. Oh, yes, I am, Mom. All right. Ryan, how about you? He was older than I am. Sorry about that. Ryan, do you have any advice to uh, your past, Ryan? Uh, Sounds like Noel's. I always have to say, like, treat people the way you want to be treated. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Good one, bro. Ryan, I thought yours would be like to tell your, you know, past. Like teenage Ryan to like invest in Apple or something like. Oh, that. yeah. 
Oh yeah, if I miss FS and Apple stock, I'd get really rich now. Okay. But you know, imagine someone invested in that in the 1970s and more than that now. They could advertise on the Stripecast. Mm -hmm. Be a big sponsor. <laughs> All right. Um, what about Wit? Yeah, Whitney, <laughs> Alex, anything? Any advice? I would say don't worry so much. Yeah. Aww. Wait, thanks. I give that in my heart forever. <laughs> that was advice for me. <laughs> I know. That's good advice for anyone, though. <laughs> Alex, you got anything? Yeah, I think I would say believe in yourself. Oh. Yeah. What uh -huh. you got? Hello. Wow, those are very <laughs> thoughtful, <laughs> both of you. Like... What about you? Be. Don't wait until you're old to start running. <laughs> 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 Always run the marathon. <laughs> I don't know about that, but <laughs> at least a 5K. <laughs> all right. Noel, looks like you've got another one to tell us. You have any, any, anything else, or are we all set for this segment? All yes. set. Okay. Then, Susie, take like it away. Back. Take us to break. Be right back. Webcast is brought to you by listeners like who, Ryan? Doris Meehan. Yay! Thanks this for listening, Doris. Doris. You can be the listener of the week, too. Just like or share or give us a review, any of those things, and uh, you could be the listener of the week. Oh, uh, right, put, oh put her on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. that's it. All right. Susie, you want to take us a break? Thanks for listening, everybody. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. And what's the time to do? Wrap, wrap it up. Wrap, wrap it up. Wrap, wrap, wrap it up. Oh, okay. yeah. All right. Noel is playing a... <laughs> air trombone okay, yeah. we go to wrap it up all right guys anything else we want to do to wrap this up today special thanks to john Keeley, our monthly guest yep. joining us for those fun facts about tokyo i mm -hmm. i certainly learned a few things the wrap of today is a chicken club bacon sandwich <laughs> okay chicken club bacon sandwich that's the wrap of the day all right yep nice Anything else we want to talk about? Are we good to go? I think we're good to go. I okay. think we are too. <laughs> Join us next week. And then Strive is uh, still hiring. Yep. Ryan is always on that as you know, a great employee. Oh. Um, we are still hiring. Lots of different positions. We have multiple different um, you know, full-time, part-time, per diem hours available. If you know someone, spread the word. They can go to pslstrive.org slash employment, right, Ryan, I think? Yes. And for all the details or to fill out an application. Good call, Ryan. Good catch. And Noel? we're still going to do the camera on the roof. I know we talked about the 5K. Um, That's right. So it's like after the 5K is Kevin going down the roof right. to raise. Going up on Monday, September 20th. Raising $50,000. Uh, won't get down until he raises that goal. That's right. That's Yow. right. Okay. Anything else? No. no. All right. Then uh, thanks for listening and uh, please share. We'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Bye, Bye crazy.